Sweet to the B, L C K. Make you put the first on replay. We uh. Hello good people, welcome back to Red's Kibia Pika number one, interview TV and all entertainment and I'm your host Paul Savik. So today we are having one of the amazing artists uh, from West Africa in Ghana. So um, let him introduce himself. Yeah, hello. Hello, how are you? Yeah. So I'm glad for your boy. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Yeah. So first thing first, uh, you started as a duo. Yes. Yeah. So what made you like to decide to do music as a solo artist? Okay, so I, I was always a solo artist, but I was in uh, different groups. Yeah. And in 2010, um, we released a project called Target Practice. Mm -hmm. And the year after, my partner, I was in a group with his group, he, he wanted to do a solo project. Yeah. So he decided to do two solo projects. Mm -hmm. and I just had to agree to also work on my solo project. So, that's how my first solo songs started coming out, right after the project. Yeah. And you're having an album, Loyalty. Yeah. So in Loyalty, uh, you can tell us what is in the album and uh, like your best collaboration with the album. Okay, so I wrote Loyalty during the COVID pandemic. Mm -hmm. and so Loyalty is like my favorite trick for the human being. That's what I like about it. Yeah. When I meet somebody and I find out you have that quality. It's what draws me closer to you. <clears throat> so when I was writing that album, you know, I, I wrote songs that encompass that, like relationships. Mm -hmm. You know, even as friends, everybody expects some sort of loyalty from your friend. Mm -hmm. You know, so I wrote a lot of songs that centered around loyalty. And my favorite collaboration now is probably it's not one of the most commercial songs, mm -hmm. but it's called Kiss and Tell, featuring a vocalist from Ghana called Aquapo. And that's my favorite color album now because he's not a rapper, he's not an Afrobeat singer. Mm -hmm. He's a high life yeah. guy, very um, a traditional sound. Yeah. And talking about sound, uh, how would you describe the sound to maybe first that you don't understand your sound or anything? Okay, so um, I'm a rapper, I'm a hip hop artist mm -hmm. first. And I dabble in like different genres. So if you listen to the album, there's I'm a piano. Yeah, there's half a piece, there's high life, mm -hmm. there's hip life from Ghana, mm -hmm. there's hip hop from the like gospel song on the album. Yeah. So I play around the injury. So many different sounds. So I would say I'm a diverse artist. Yeah. And the album is as 18 tracks. Uh, so how long did it take to record and uh, what was the process like? Um, I started writing an album during the pandemic and then uh, I was stuck in the US yeah. when the pandemic came. So in August, mm -hmm. I started recording. I finished in February. Mm -hmm. So it took me about six months to record the whole album. Yeah. And probably put it out in the way. And uh, you did like a collaboration with uh, Stella Monkey before. So what made you like to you think uh, it, she fits in the music and how did that come? Um, I met at the channel once in 2014, mm -hmm. yeah, and I, and I was working on a song with the Beatles, so we put it out as a single, and then I wanted to do like an African remix, so I had like somebody from East Africa, another person from Nigeria, and I wanted females, so I was looking around and I remember this dope female rapper from Kenya, mm -hmm. Stella, and we, we had a number she had number. So I sent her a song, she sent it to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And currently, here yeah, in Kenya, uh, which artists have you listened to Mid East for her music and maybe you love what you're looking for? Oh, I know, I know Southie, so I know. I love her because I'm in the beard. I love her because she used to be Tanasha. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't know Spore so far. And I worked with the beard, and I worked with Tanasha. I worked with Southie, so I worked around with her. Yeah. So uh, your work with Vivi, as you say. Uh, so can you like tell us uh, what's the track about? Because Vivi does a lot of love song, I think. So, a love song. Yeah. So you can tell us the type of song. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a love song. <laughs> yeah, it's a love song. Yeah, yeah. Very beautiful song. I personally really like the song. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
And now, can you tell us like more about? Uh, it's called Black Avenue Music. Uh, is it going on? And are you still signing artists? And do you consider signing any of Kenyan artists? Like someone will be willing to. Okay, so uh, Black Avenue Music is the label that I've been back in Ghana. Mm -hmm. And uh, yes, there's a very big producer and artist in Ghana. She's called Sifa. She's on Black Avenue Music. And yes, why not? Look, there's some amazing Kenyan talent. We could definitely do something. You know, the intercultural exchange is trying to get your sound to Ghana and vice versa. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, in East Africa, uh, most of artists do like cloud chasing before releasing a music or an album. Uh, so, do you think uh, if that's a good way of promoting music, or what's which other way are you people promoting your music here in Ghana? Uh, I feel like everybody is different, you know. There's so many different marketing strategies that people use to promote music. You know, I personally don't do the hype and the cloud chasing, I like the music to so put itself. Yeah. Be a big brand, you gotta let the people love you for who you are. You know, you know, that's what I do. But everybody is different, you know. Yeah. In Ghana, there's people who also, who also promote their music that way. You know, it's not bad, it's not wrong, but that's, that's not how I do things. You know? yeah. Yeah. So, uh, and uh, you've been here in Kenya, so what have you enjoyed in Kenya so far? And maybe your favorite dish here in Kenya? Yeah, I just tried something now, I forgot the name of it. Um, it's made from corn. What was the name? The food that we just had with the fish? What's the name of the food we had with the fish? No, that's Ugali. Ugali, yeah. We just tried Ugali now. Yeah, Ugali. Yeah. And you've been, your song, uh, Brave, has been nominated in so many awards. So, what makes it special to be nominated in different awards category? Um, I mean, as an artist, when you're nominated in that many awards, you know, it makes you feel like you've done a good job. You know? uh, every artist has an ego. So when, when, when you say, oh, I have 18 nominations in my career, you know, that's a big thing. It means you've done very well for yourself. Yeah. And uh, tell us about Life Wire. Uh, it's an event management uh, yeah. Yeah, company. So why did you come up with Life Wire? <laughs> because I took a break from music mm -hmm. in 2016. And one of my passions was events. You know, my friends and I like to party, we like to travel. So we started an events company called Live Wire Events. We do concerts, we do destination parties, and it's been going very, very, very well. Our next event is on the 29th of October. There's a three day music festival. It's called Tropical Fiesta. It's going to be crazy. If you guys want to experience that, anybody that's watching, come to Ghana for that weekend. You have such a amazing time. Yeah, you guys should check that out. And uh, I can see you all your tattoos. So, do you uh, probably you love tattoos. So, which one did you have first? Uh, I was on my chest. Mm -hmm. So, I get, I get to take off my shirt now. But yeah. It's, a, it's, a, it's an angel with oh, wings on my chest. That was my first tattoo. I was 18 years old. Yeah. And what does it mean to you? Uh, or what made you to you? Like, have it? I'm a very spiritual person. So, the angel on my chest fits what? Around you, you know, God watching over you through his angels. Mm -hmm. A lot of the tattoos in my body are biblical. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of Bible verses. Mm -hmm. You know, Proverbs, yeah, Proverbs 327. There's a lot of Bible descriptions in my body. Yeah. So, uh, about your look, uh, do you have like someone who designs you out, or you just look up to your closet and design yourself? Yeah, I do. I do that myself. Yeah. It's very difficult to get somebody who understands my style. So I don't have to know myself what you do. And uh, you said, uh, before you said like you love, you love more about clothes and uh, you love like a cloth line or something. Okay, so anytime I drop out, mm -hmm. I, I design a few shirts for the lines. Mm -hmm. So when I drop out, the few months after, we put out a cloth line. So in October, we're putting out a cloth line. Yeah. It's called Black Avenue Cloth. We'll be going online, you see some of that. When this is a new line that's coming out, yeah. and it's all on stuff, it's all okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, guys, uh, before we finish this up, uh, B Black will let us know uh, about uh, will let us know his social accounts where you can find him or know more about him. So, uh, you can tell us your social media handles. Uh, my social media handles is B Black GH on all platforms uh, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter. Anyways, the black GH.
and guys uh please don't forget to subscribe and like this video and also leave a comment behind and i'm your host bon Sevic, and have a good one thank you for uh agreeing to be part of this thank you too yeah. progress yeah and uh, we are looking forward to other tracks featuring other Kenyan artists. Love them. Yeah, we'll be waiting.